It's time! Well, it seems an eventuality that Ben Askren would one day find his way to the UFC. Did that with a big win over Robbie Lawler in his UFC debut, and now the focus on continuing to climb that crowded welterweight line. Ben Askren is a unique talent because he does not look like the type of guy that you would find in an octagon. But every time he steps foot in there, he has no doubt he's going to get his hand raised, which is what he has done his entire life. You look at Ben and you know what's coming. He's going to wrestle you, he's going to take you down, he's going to make you grapple more than you're comfortable with. But can Ben Askren employ that wrestling game plan all the way to a UFC championship? We will see. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ben Funky Ashman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Push kick there to the body. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Missed with that attempt. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. 
Well, he was able to block that one. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Head kick lands. Big right hook, but a whiff. Just over three minutes to go now. Good straight, man. Good straight. Beautiful punch to the body. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just out of range with that strike. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Look for the shot. Sidekick is true. So just over 20 total strikes and now landed for Ben Ashford. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Tries to work it into a takedown. Under two minutes to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Another punch to the head. Nice head. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffs on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, doing work with the jab. Dead, dead. Nice punch to the head. The takedown is not there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Under a minute to go on the opening round. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. Oh, nice kick. Body kicks that'll crumble you. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Final seconds here of round one. Wow. Second round, straight ahead. level highlights from that last round DC take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a k1 level right kickboxing competition he's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will he needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on you ready to fight ready Go all right round two all right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far.
Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. He is going after that overhand right. Investing in the body with the kick there. Great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past him trying to find that shot again. Stuff to take down, no problem. And now some separation. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, keep pushing forward. Let's go. The right hand just misses. Flips. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. He worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Clipped him with the jab. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Big shot to the head. Blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. With conviction to the body. 10 seconds to go in the round. Single leg takedown. Uh, and the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward.
I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Oh, nice. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Takedown defense is there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Sidekick is there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. What a kick that will land. Keep your hands up. Use your oh, he missed with that right hand. Good kick to the body. Takedown defense holds up. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Grahovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Try to establish that jab. Visibly limping here. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Beautiful punch lands. 60 seconds. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, roundhouse kick. That punch no good. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, 
to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. 15 seconds. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat, bud. Awesome. I love what you're doing out there. That striking is on point, okay? We knew this is where we are going to be. So let's get out there. Let's stay sharp. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Beautiful jab there by the champ. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can see that he can fight to the wrong if he needs to. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, nice. Back to the jab now, no good. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but on the leg. all day his mobility is compromised might get it back a little bit as the fight continues but that's an obvious loop right now well it's going to take ice on the calf ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back but once you get dead leg there's not much you can do His sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's going to have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. There's that jab. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. He just hurt him with a left hook. Yep. Lee's shot is blocked. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Well, you got to think he's happy with him. He got hurt again. Oh! Big 
shot to the body. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Lee gets hit with that overhand. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Big power shot there. Oh. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this night. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Right, 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. the strike there, and then counters with a leg kick. Nice job by Lee. Left punch on target tonight. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Landed that overhand right flush. Oh! Unbelievable. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, that lead leg is compromised at this point in time, as is his mobility. That bruising is out of control. He wants to switch stances, but he's not as good on the opposite side. So he can try to protect the leg, but then all of his other weapons are not near him. Oh, Gets back to his feet. out of range with the big right hand. There it is again. Look at it. Oh, nice tip down. Yep. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Great job, man. Strike from his back. Nicely done. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. Got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on. Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Right drop. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Back and forth we go. Oh, that calf is just getting destroyed. And not sure if it's time to trot out the line live to fight another day, but I've seen enough. It's over. It, it's over, John. I mean, I... The highlight at the garden.
right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend.